let's face it, at some point in time, you're going to have a mouse in your house or a mouse in your garage. Uh, we're in my garage, and I don't really keep food around, but I have some mice using my garage as shelter. Uh, they climb up a gas line that's in the corner that goes into the ceiling, and they hide in the attic. Um, I tried some my, uh, mouse traps that we have at the local hardware store and at the Walmart, and they don't seem to work. Um, I'm going to show you what's going on here. So, uh, they work when you uh, touch them with your finger, though. So, what we have here is a, here, this is just a Tomcat. It's kind of what they sell at the Walmart. Apparently, it works if you touch it with your finger, but mice are really good at getting it out of there without triggering it. So what I did, and helps, is to slather peanut butter all up in there in the spring and the top and the back so they can they have to climb in there to get it out. However, the mice in my garage were clever enough to still lick it out even in the deepest crevice back there without triggering it. And it's because they're coming from the sides, um, you know, either side and instead of from the front where they have to step on the pad. And I can tell because of little piles of mouse poop that they leave behind. So let me show you a little trick that I tried and it worked absolutely perfect to uh, make sure you get them every time. So what you can do here is I have a piece of exhaust pipe. This is three inch. It's from building my car. You just take that piece and you just slide the old mouse trap inside there like this. See, but works perfect for your fingers. There we go. Now, I take that pipe and I just put it somewhere, put it somewhere where it won't roll, you know, against the wall or here in this case, I just, they, they use uh, the back of the toolbox to run across the wall. So this will entice them up there and then they'll, what they do is they'll just crawl in there. You know, you block that path off so they can't come to the back. But now they have no way, I'm just kidding, sorry. they have no way to get it really from the side. So they're going to step on the pad. The other thing to do is, if you don't have any tube, is take your trap, you know, put it up against the wall, and you just get a couple blocks of wood. There's, well, a couple four by fours, and then, you know, make sure that thing's right up against the wall. There. So just like that, now you basically did the same thing. You made a little pathway that they have to go to, and they basically have to step on that pad to get their their little last supper. So, hope this trick works works out for you as well as it did for me. Um, happy hunting.